Hi, writers. This is a lesson on how you might make your language conventions work for you, especially when you're leading up to publication. So you've been working really hard on developing your stories, and you've been especially working hard to make sure each detail helps to develop the problem, the character, or the overall message of the story. And you've been sometimes cutting details or enhancing those details. And it's been really going beautifully for you. We have some beautiful work. So now what I want to do is have you think not only about the details you are incorporating, but to think about the way that you are presenting those details. And what I mean by that is the way that you're writing your sentences. Because sometimes the way that authors get meaning across is not just because they have a great idea. It's because of the way that they write. It's because of how they use language. So today, what I want to teach you is that writers bring out the tension of their pieces, not only by thinking about the content of their writing, but also about how they are writing. It helps to play with different techniques and then reread your writing, asking yourself, does this achieve the effect I am aiming for? Is the feeling or the mood really clear here? And did I use the right language conventions, the right punctuation to do so? So I'm going to, before I show you, how you might do this. I'm going to show you a few tips to keep in mind as you try this on your own. So when you're using sentence structure to bring out tension, you might think about short sentences versus long sentences. I have some bullets here that you might refer back to that will be posted for you to use as you're working, but that's just the way that I'm going to approach my work today. I'm going to think about how might I use short sentences and how might I use long sentences and how I might be using them at different times to convey different things. So I'm going to the really important part of my story right now. This is right when the character May punches the team captain because of some things that she said that was anti-Semitic. And remember, there's a bit of a power imbalance here. Maeve is a new person on the team. She's also a sixth grader, while Maeve is an eighth grader, and she's the team captain. So here's what I have so far, and I'm going to start to think about short sentences versus long sentences. I felt the blood leave my face. Did she really just say that? Did that really just happen? I looked around to see if there was anyone I could call on as my witness. I didn't see anyone else there. I was alone with Vanessa. So one thing I'm already thinking that I could do is I could maybe just start to use some different sentences here to kind of get that feeling across. Like the characters are like having these almost like these little hiccups of breath, like I'm alone. I want to convey that here. So maybe it can sound something like I looked around to see if there was anyone I could call on as my witness. Maybe it's more just like a short sentence here instead of a long ex explanation. I was alone. And then maybe for a little bit of effect, I could add maybe like a, an ellipsis to make sure that that I, the idea that she's now alone with the team captain is like setting in. So maybe it's like, I was alone. There was no one. It was just me, dot, dot, and Vanessa. So now I have more of a variety of sentences in that one part, and I feel like it's already making a difference. Let me reread it and see if it's conveying the effect that I want it to. I felt the blood leave my face. Did she really just say that? Did that really just happen? I looked around to see if there was anyone I could call on as my witness. I was alone. There was no one. It was just me and Vanessa. I feel like that's doing the work that I wanted it to do. So I think I'm gonna move on to the next paragraph. And as I do that, I'm going to actually use a mentor text to help me. So I'm gonna pull out the fight for the next thing that I'm gonna try to see how the author of the fight, Adam Bajazarian, brings out the tension in his important parts through language. And I'm gonna try that next. So maybe you just try this from your own mind and your reading and you're thinking about how I might change it up, short sentences versus long sentences. But you also could use a mentor text to help you with this. And there are a lot available for you in the classroom. And there also are ones available in your backpacks because you have books that you are already reading that you probably already have beautiful examples already hiding within. I hope that this helps you today to make some meaningful choices for how you might use language conventions to enhance meaning and give the effect you want your readers to have. Thank mm -hmm. you.